Don't you just hate it when the doctor says, now seriously, you got to start exercising. Most of us have heard that. We know exercise is good. It prevents arthritis. It prevents Alzheimer's sometimes, as I remember. But who wants to do it? Those dull touching the toes and that kind of thing. I mean, if God wanted us to touch our toes, he should have put them on our knees where we could reach them. Well, today on Never Too Late, we've got just the answer for you. Fun, easy exercises that are great to get into and great to do. Now, you know I never lie to you, so stay right there. I'm Dorothy Wilhelm. Number one, you don't have to buy a membership in an expensive gym or book a personal trainer. Start at the Y or a senior center or at a community park. You won't believe the changes even senior pets get to exercise. We recently, on September 12th, had our first annual dog swim. We had over 200 dogs and their owners come to the pool to play and run around in the facility. We also have been offering water walking in our Lazy River for resistance training. We've also been offering kayakers the opportunity to practice in the off-season in nice warm water at one of our indoor facilities. One of our best resources turns out to be programs like Metro Parks Tacoma's Amazing 55 and Better, sparked by community wellness advocate Janet Bissell. What are we seeing behind us today? Well, today we have the Advanced Women's Walking and Weights and Yoga class that meets at Jefferson Park in North Tacoma. And we do a wide variety of different types of exercises. As you can see, in, in, or you will be seeing that with some of the different age groups that we have here, this class is an advanced class, yet it's, it's for folks that have um, kind of been with an exercise program for a while. But I do make modifications for every different exercise that we do. Well, like for instance, what? Well, let's say if I wanted to talk about doing a, a series of squats, which are strengthening the, mm -hmm. the quads and the hamstrings and kind of the core area. What I would do with folks that were, you know, really strong and fit, I could have them go all the way into a full range of motion where with somebody with a little bit limited range or a knee problem or a hip problem, I would have them take them into a smaller range of motion or just maybe even just do a knee lift instead. Now, what have we got? I know that, that you offer, for instance, there's sitting exercises for people that aren't too active. What do we call that now? That's called sales. Uh -huh. uh, stay in, uh, independent and Stay active and independent for life. And that was an evidence-based program designed by the University of Washington and a CDC grant through the State Department of Health. And uh, they found that evidence-based exercise uh, increases balance for people that, you know, whatever age you are, you might have a little bit of a problem exercising. And uh, it was put together because our emergency management system, uh, number one call is uh, people falling. So that's all based around core strength and, and keeping people uh, able to move around in their homes. So what are the uh, some of the core strengthening classes in addition to the, the, this one I know is? Well, you know, really any exercise program, whether it's a, a ballroom dancing, a f specific fitness course, or tai chi classes, a yoga classes, really any exercise program is going to strengthen the core. Anytime you're standing up against gravity, you are working your core muscles. And then if you're being cued by an instructor to, you know, contract your abdominals, that type of thing, you are pulling in your back, your sides, all the muscles within your core, and that's really what we want to focus on strengthening. And less people think that this is all a young person's class. Tell me a little bit about the folks we've got here today. Well, I have uh, actually a woman who's a firefighter with Tacoma Fire Department, which is very, <laughs> which is really fun to have somebody with me in, in, you know, that actually does exercise to stay physically active for their job. And then I have uh, Genevieve, who's uh, actually uh, reads, uh, works in the library system and reads to kids. And then I have Roberta, who's with me and has been with me for 15 years, who's just been an amazing. And I don't think Roberta would mind if we say how old she is. Roberta is 76 years old and has been exercising with me for the past 15 years. And, and I've got to say, Roberta and I are the same age. And I started out with these people, and I made it nearly 20 yards, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, so no, Roberta is definitely this, my inspiration. This definitely picks up the pace, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, our, our slogan is, get active your way. So what does that look like to you as an individual? And it doesn't have to be an advanced women's walking and weights and yoga class. It can 
can be, you know, starting s slowly with just getting out and walking in our parks and looking at your neighborhood streets and, and, and making sure that you can get out and, and be active. And um, Tai Chi and, and yoga and, and some classes like that where you can come in and really work on your balance and, and people with, with uh, joint replacement uh, can really value that type of thing. Get some back up and get some moving around. Of course, the trick is finding the activity that's right for you that you'll stay with. Carol Zukowski says the perfect choice for her is the Water Lilies Aquasize Group and the mobility it affords her. She recently had hip replacement surgery and she came back to the Water Lilies on her walker. As soon as the staples came out, I was in the water. I can do things in the water that I can't do on land yet. I can't run and I can't skip yet. But it's been 10 months, but I'll get there. For over 25 years, the energy and inspiration of founding instructor Lois Oliver has been the heart and soul of the Water Lilies. Members say this group is a life-changing experience. I know from personal experience that water aerobics can change your life. We, this group of ladies uh, is very caring. We have fun. We get together after uh, the class. I think most important is when you're not here, they want to know where you are. It is going to be my life work to get out of the beginning Tai Chi class, but my doctor recommended Tai Chi for balance. And Steve, now you've been teaching Tai Chi for 10 years. You're really good at it. I have a question for you. See, we have this thing, there's ward off right, ward off left, see, I know that. If you put your foot over here, and you are then supposed to put your foot over there. There's no prayer of that happening. How do you, what, what am I supposed to do now? How do oh, I get from here to there? The same way you get to Carnegie Hall. Practice. practice. <laughs> oh. So we practice every day. We try to touch this practice every day. And over time, our body will adapt to that. And we get better. When we do Tai Chi, we're working on strength, flexibility, and awareness. And those three things are real strong components of balance. Uh, if we have better strength and better flexibility, which the exercises and the movements work on, um, they will result in better balance for us. And we do the Yang style 37 posture short form. Uh, very accessible for people. I haven't had any student who started with me to practice uh, that if, as long as they continue coming to class, they will be able to learn this. So there is hope. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the, the big thing I tell my students is that if we learn how to do this practice, if we learn the Yang style short form, we only need to do it once in the morning and once in the evening. Uh, that's seven minutes in the morning, seven minutes in the evening. If we're able to do that on a daily basis, you'll live forever. Really? That's pretty inspirational. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to have a little chance to, to see you with your Tai Chi class and your moves. Push forward slightly, extending the arms. We're going to turn the hips and shoulders to the left corner. Then we're going to shift the weight completely to the right. The arms collapse to the body, the hands come back toward the shoulders. And here we are, right back where we started from. And if you're not ready to get started exercising now, I don't know what more I can do, so let's get going. Just try to do one more thing every day. As my Tai Chi instructor Gary Wessel says, perseverance is what counts. Do one more thing every day and let me know how you're doing. You can reach me, Dorothy, at itsnevertolate.com. And that's because I'm Dorothy Wilhelm. <laughs>